Hi everyone, this is Gladys Diaz with Hearts Desire International. And I just wanted to say hello to everyone. For those of you who are participating in the Gift of Love giveaway, I hope you are having a blast downloading all of the free gifts that are available to you in the giveaway. And just wanted to really encourage you, if you haven't shared about the giveaway with your friends, please go ahead and do that. There's a little blurb at the bottom of this email that you can use to share, whether it's in an email or via social media, about the event. Now, for today, I'd love to share a communication tip because as you know, we're having a wonderful class on Saturday, December 19th, called What to Say to Your Man. Learn exactly what to say and do so that you can get the love you want. And so that's why all the videos and blogs lately have been around communication. So today's communication tip is, what do I do or say when he says something that triggers me, right? Now, you are a human being. So there are going to be things that people say and do that hit those emotional hot buttons that have you react in a certain way. So one of the things we're going to be talking about in the master class is effective versus ineffective forms of communication. So three ineffective ways to respond when the man that you're with, whether he's someone you're dating or he's your spouse or your boyfriend, he says something that triggers you emotionally. There's three ways that most people respond ineffectively. The first one is to strike back and say something just as hurtful as what was said to you. Now, the reason that's ineffective is because obviously you're reacting because you were hurt and that doesn't feel right for you. It doesn't feel good. And so why would you respond in a way that doesn't align with what you believe to be true? Remember our mantra is be the love you want to see. So if you want loving and patient and kind communication, you wanna be loving, patient and kind in your communication. Now, another way to respond is to shut down. It's what a really close friend of ours calls the power outage. And that means there's no communication coming from me or to me. I just shut it down, this is over, and um, it's ineffective because again, there's you're controlling the communication flow. There's actually no communication happening. So there's no way that we're gonna get to a resolution. And the third way that many people tend to respond is to make the other person wrong. So for many of us, we think, I'm just saying how I feel. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just being honest. And what I'm doing is I'm telling you what you did wrong. The moment somebody hears you did something wrong, the automatic response is to defend, justify, or now make you wrong, right? Like we talked about in the first example. So. This is ineffective because we're not gonna to get to a win-win solution if my point is I'm right and you're wrong or demanding a, a, an apology, which is another thing that comes through either one of these three ineffective communication um, methods. So if shutting down is not effective, if striking back is not effective, and if making the other person wrong is not effective, what is effective? So one of the ways to have effective communication is to really focus on what it is that you are feeling. Now, when I say what I'm feeling, I can say that hurt. That would be the truth. That is distinct and very different from you hurt me, which is the third example where you're telling the person what they did wrong. That hurt. That was hurtful. It was hurtful to hear that. So there are three scripts that you can use in order to respond. It, it communicates exactly what you're feeling. Now, you don't have to go into the lecture about why it was wrong, why he's inconsiderate, what he needs to do differently, and don't you dare ever talk to me like that again. The simpler, the better. The shorter, the better, especially when you're speaking to a man. Okay? So that was hurtful. That hurt. It hurt to hear that communicates exactly how you're feeling without striking back, without shutting down communication, and without um, making the other person wrong. So that's just one of the many tips that you'll hear in the What to Say to Your Man Masterclass that is taking place 
on Saturday, December 19th. And you can click the link below for more information on that. You want to go ahead and join uh, now because the price is special. And we want as many people as possible there. But in addition to the class, you also get the book, What to Say to Your Man, 40 Proven Scripts on what you can say and do to get the love that you want. So you get that ebook with 40 scripts on exactly what to say and do. You get the master class, you get the recording of the master class, whether you attend live or not. You also get to be in a private Facebook group that's already going on. You can jump in today, I'll add you to the group, and you can already see the questions that have been being asked. Michelle and I have been coaching, providing support and feedback to women already. So you don't have to wait till the 19th. Your program starts today. And in addition, you get a private one-on-one -on -one call with either Michelle or myself so that we can help you um, continue the progress from the master class. Now, one thing I do want to say about the master class, this is not a class where you're going to sit there passively and we talk to you for two hours. This is a completely interactive class where we're going to, there's lots of activities woven in, there's opportunities to ask questions, and there's opportunities for you to write your scripts and get supportive feedback from us on how to make it really work so that you and the person you're speaking to, the guy that you're with, are constantly having communication that leads to win-win solutions so that neither one has ever felt uh, left feeling unheard or hurt or like they're wrong. This is win-win. We both come out winning at the end. That is our ultimate outcome when it comes to having effective communication. So click the link below. Join us in the Facebook group. Join us in the class. And until our hearts meet again, always remember that you are loved. Goodbye for now.